Hello guys, this is a series of videos for beginners. I will introduce some material and negra content. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, first let's create a material. Click red mouse button and select the material. There is a lot of content in the material editor, so let's start with the ones we'll be using. First, blend mode. We often use translucent and uh, additive in Negra. And shading model. We often use unlit in Negra. And two-sided. If it's false, it will only show the front side. If it's true, it will also show the back side. Now we hold down the U key on the keyboard and uh, click the left mouse button. We will get a text card. If we don't know what it means, don't worry. We can hold Ctrl and Alt. We will open Unreal Engine documentation. Here is a more detailed description. In Niagara, we often use text card to do some mathematical operations to get different shapes. Now let's try to use mice to create a star. First, let's create a sphere mask. The sphere mask input A is the space it's in, and the input B is the center of the circle or sphere. Depending on whether input A is a 2D vector or 3D vector, here our input A is text card, a 2D vector, so what we get is a circle. Now let's scale the sphere mask center. Hold down the number key 1 and click the left mouse button. We will get a 1D vector, number key 2 and the left mouse button is 2D vector, 3 is 3D vector, 4 is 4D vector. Here we use the 1D vector, also be called float. If we use a float as a 2D vector, then the values of these two channels are the same, for example, if we set the value to 0.5, then its actual value is 0.5, 0.5. The radius is 0.52, because the area we can see in the preview is 0 to 1. We can also use a 2D vector as the center of the circle so we can control its position separately. Now we set the center value is 0, 0, 0. We will get a quarter circle. Then if we move it to the four corners, we will get a shape similar to a star. But duplicating this nodes four times is tedious. We need a cleaner way. First, we add a 0.5 to the text card so that its area becomes 0.5 to 1.5. Then we seal this area. Seal means round up. Also, we have floor. Floor means round down. You can also find them in the Unreal Engine documentation. Now the text card at 0.5's area is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1 1.5, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, 1.5. 1.5, 1.5. And the sales area is 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. 
and because we seal it. So there is no gradient of values in this area, just from integers 1 to 2. Now we subtract 0.5 from it. Its area becomes 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 1.5 It corresponds to the area of text chord at 0.5 So we have the coordinates of the four corners in space We also need 1 minus the sphere mask Make the star area is 1, white in opacity, 1 or white means visible, 0 or black means invisible. Finally, set an emissive color. A simple star is completed. We also have another way to create star material. First, subtract 0.5 from text chord. Its area becomes negative 0.5 to 0.5. And we need component mask text chord channel. Mask R channel means text chord U channel. And G channel means V channel. Take the absolute value of the mask. The area becomes 0 0.5 to 0 to 0 0.5. Also, we need absolute mask G. And let's multiply them. We can see the shape is close to a star. Now, let's power the output result. The exponent we need a radial gradient. It looks like a circle with a gradient. This is our exponent. And 1 minus the power output. Then we need power the 1 minus output. Set the exponent value to 200. Now we can see the shape is very close to a star, but it's a bit small in size, so we need to change the radial gradient radius. Set the value to 0 0.8. Looks better now. And connect the output value to the opacity. Hold down number key 3 and uh, click the left mouse button, a 3D vector for emissive color. Set the value to 101. We get a red emissive color. We also need a flickering effect, so let's create a time. For time, we need a same function. so that our times value becomes a loop of negative 1 to 1 like this and we need a constant bell scale it adds 1 to our value and then multiplies it by 0 0.5 so we get a value loop from 0 to 1 but we need the value to be greater than 0 because it's invisible when the value is 0 so we set the bell's value to 2 connect the output value to multiply its input b also the output result need to multiply the 3d vector 
and connect it to emissive color. Okay, let's save the material and uh, take a look in the level. Now we get a beautiful star. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.